Coming up on this episode of Press This, we open up a whole new can of worms as we start to discuss BB Press. Learn about the different plugins you should install with your first BB Press installation on the next episode. Hey everyone, welcome to another amazing episode, episode 52 52 of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. What is this show all about? So we take some of the awesome stuff in the WordPress world, slap it on our screens mm -hmm. in front of us, yeah. and give it to you. Hopefully you can learn something about WordPress themes, plugins, stuff. Whatever it may be, whatever's coming down the pipe in the WordPress world. Uh, go ahead and hit subscribe. We want to hit 10,000 fans. Uh, hit the little subscribe button on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, head on over to slocumstudio.com slash blog. Follow the blog. Uh, slash forums yes, to actually join the forum say. to have the discussion uh, that we're having today uh, outside of YouTube. We'll have it on our site. Um, leave a comment anywhere you, s you feel the need to. Mm -hmm. Great. So let's dive right into it. What are we talking about <laughs> today? Well, speaking of forums, Ooh. so you've just asked us a question. You've gone to our forums page and you've asked us a question and you're, you're inspired. You're wondering, well, that would be really cool like to have on my own website. So how are you going to do that? And that's what we're going to talk about today a little bit. Um, yeah, we're actually going to go over sort of the most popular plugin out there for this sort of thing. It's a free plugin, of course. That's what makes it the most popular. Mm -hmm. um, it's called BB Press. Um, very, very popular plugin. Um, it has over on the repo alone. I, I know they have a download link from their website as well. But on the repo alone, there's 815,000 downloads. It's got 4.3 out of 5 stars, and it's updated very consistently. The last time of update was September the 2nd, so yeah. very consistent. If, you're, if, you're, if you've been looking at WordPress forums, um, have we covered that yet? I don't even know. It's I don't think we have. a year of doing the yeah, show. Yeah, I don't think we have, and that's, I think that's why we're... Because we, I, I feel like if we did, we would have talked about BB Press. Yeah. Uh, so BB Press, not only is it popular because it's free, but it's like super integrated yep. into WordPress. Yes. It's been around forever. Um, it's you know a whole team mm -hmm. uh, of very popular WordPress developers. Mm -hmm. Um, J Trip, uh, J Trip. Well, we call him J Trip. It's at JJJ on Twitter, yeah. <laughs> uh, who worked for Automatic before. Now it works for Tenup. Yeah. He actually created this plugin, but now there's a whole slew of other developers that yeah. work uh, on this. Yeah. There are actually BB Press meetups mm -hmm. that happen like before, like mm -hmm. the popular WordCamps. Right. So it's it it's got like its own community kind of thing, and mm -hmm. um, there's a whole you know a whole. Uh, slew of themes and other plugins that go into this. It's it's pretty it's pretty amazing. Uh, so yeah, we're going to talk about how we set it up on our own yeah. site. Yep. And why we did it on our own site, and then how to sort of some of the other uh, plugins that we're we're using. Sure, because it. there's a few other there's a few other concerns people may have about them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure I'll post it in the notes so you've kind of hit the page and you're saying, okay, they're going to discuss this. So yep. we'll get there when we get there. Um, basically the way it works is you install it. Um, there is a little bit of coding, um, a web coding, I should say, um, on your end when it comes to this, you know, understanding a little bit of the PHP behind WordPress, um, to get BB press to work as it is. Um, I didn't quite look into plugins that would do that maybe for you. Um, they may be out there. If you guys, Hey, if you guys have uh, know of any posts in the comments below or on our forums page as well uh, on that, uh, but Basically, you basically install this this forum plugin or the BB Press plugin. On the left sidebar, where you know all your other stuff is for WordPress, uh, you'll have three new sections: forums, topics, and replies. Replies let you manage your replies, things like that. Forums are your overall forum posts, like you know, like a general discussion, things like that. And then the topics are you know the things within those forums that people would post on. Yeah, like you know, uh, we'll we'll have a topic for this particular yeah. show, episode fifty-two, BB Press. Right. Uh, for WordPress or, or whatever, yeah. um, you know, the forums are the, the right. global categories and then the topics reside within that and then they, they sp split out the replies right. so you can kind of manage the, supply, uh, the supplies, the replies separately yep. from the topics and forums. Because yeah, they'll like be that. all over the place and it's yeah. hard to say, oh yeah, well, let me check this one and this one right. and this one and that one. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, really important to note, um, first things first is when you install this, you're going to have to go to your settings. Uh, with BB Press, because it is so integrated into the WordPress core, you have to go into your settings uh, tab and you have to go to the general settings and enable anyone can register. Mm -hmm. Without that, nobody, no bueno. <laughs> nobody can register for yeah. your forms. How could you have a community? Right. Talking? And this isn't one of those things that is not on by default. So you do have to go in and do it yourself. 
amazing um, to do that. Um, one thing I did want to mention about BB Press from kind of exploring a little bit is if you go to the tools sidebar, and I, again, it, it is so integrated that it's all over the place throughout your WordPress backend, which is sort of a blessing and a curse. Mm -hmm. But uh, one thing that was really cool is there is a, pl uh, a part of this in the tools section. Uh, if you go to the tools sidebar, there's a forum section and you can go in there and you can actually import uh, forums mm -hmm. from other services, uh, old BB Press, uh, Vanilla, Vbolt, and different ones like that. There's a whole other list of them as well. Yeah, if you're migrating from another forum, mm -hmm. it's going to take some of the most popular forums that are out there and give you the ability. And I'm sure there are plenty of other uh, importer tools that people have built mm -hmm. uh, around BB Press mm -hmm. um, in order to get that in. Uh, underneath the settings, a little bit more deep uh, into what you can actually configure with BB Press out of the box. Mm -hmm. Go into the settings side of that and settings forums. Yep. And then you can set some of the default stuff like how many listings per page, right. how many replies per page, how long people have mm -hmm. to, um, you know, uh, time in, in minutes, how long they can go back and edit their posts that yep. they've made. Uh, one of the things that I found uh, not, uh, I, I can't really think of a, a good word for it right off the top of my head, but when you set up the, and there's a lot of discussion around this, there's the root mm -hmm. uh, slug of mm -hmm. where their forum's going to go. Yep. And the default forum, single forum slug, this is going to get kind of confusing, It when you install it, is forum. So yep. it's the singular word forum. Yep. So then it goes forums, forum, category name. Yep. Or, or, excuse me. Uh, uh, actual forum title. Actual forum title. Yep. So if you, if you kind of do that and you, then you look at it and you're like, well, man, it says forums, forum. Yeah. And then maybe some people right out of the box just call their first forum because they might only have one forum. Yeah. It might be like forums, forum, forum. And yeah. then you're like, why is there all this why stuff? Why does it look like this? Yeah. Um, you know, what we did is we simply changed the singular words uh, slug for forum to category mm -hmm. to kind of make it a, a little, little bit more, bit, yeah. More sense, yeah. right? And I'll be under single single forum slugs uh, section under settings, right? So then, at least Google mm -hmm. and SEO will see mm -hmm. your URL path as forums, the category, mm -hmm. and then whatever forum you might have. Sure. So we have Slocum Podcast, mm -hmm. we have WordPress Questions right now. Sure, those two. We're going to expand. We just want to make sure people are actually using the forums right. uh, before we get into mm -hmm. other areas of interest. Of course, cool. So you've done this and you've set it up, and now you're. Now you've gone to Google, now you've gone to Google or YouTube for that matter. Well, what's the difference at this point? And <laughs> you say, um, "Oh, you know, I just re registered, and suddenly thousands and thousands of people are joining my site. This is great." You go to your website, and your users coming in have all these weird names. They're basically bots. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of spam going on with this. Um, BB Press, obviously being a very popular WordPress platform, you're going to get a lot of spam. So that's sort of the most frequent frustration, I think, with BB Press. So we wanted to talk a little bit about a couple things you can do to alleviate that a little bit. Um, first, we'll talk about some plugins. Uh, one of the ones that's out there, and I, I do um, immediately right off the bat tell you that this does not work with everything. It did work in our testing on our own with our own minimized theme um, on our on just like a sort of a, a very clean website. I have you played around with that on Headway and other other um, sort of theme frameworks and things like that, and it did not work as well, or it didn't work at all. But this tool is called WP Recaptcha, and it basically is a Recaptcha plugin. If you're not familiar with what Recaptcha is, Recaptcha is going to be that annoying bot thing you see, you know, where you have to type in the characters and they're like kind of squiggly and it's really hard to read, basically to verify with Google that you're not a robot spamming a website. Right. Um, so what this does is it basically implements when you download the Recaptcha plugin again, WP Recaptcha. Um, this one has 438,000 downloads, 4.1 4 out of 5 stars. It hadn't been updated in a year and a half, which is weird, even though it is like sort of the go-to recaptcha plugin. And it works fine. I, I wonder if it's just because it's a Google tool and there really isn't a lot of updating that needs to happen to the tool because it taps into their sort of server for it or what. But it hadn't been down, hadn't been updated in quite a while. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, you know, compatible up to 2.92. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very old. Uh, yeah. You know, something to be aware of. I mean, mm -hmm. it's there's no real yeah. broken issues that are reported right now, so it's working. Mm -hmm. If it works, it works. Um, but you know, certainly something to look into if yeah. you maybe find another mm -hmm. captcha plugin and you know potentially use right. that one. And it worked. For, it worked for us on 3.6.1. Cool. Um, but still, it's sort of interesting that, that, that that's the way it is right um, but basically when you go to register uh, on your register page for BB press what basically happens is it as a recapture tool so you, nobody can just go in there and keep spamming uh, that um, randomly enough um, think I've tried on multiple websites that worked 
is if you uncheck, if you check that anyone can register and you start getting spam, I just found unchecking it, you know, updating it and then rechecking it works. Hmm. I don't know if it's something in the code or, or what it is, but I found that on multiple different websites, not just one website, like it was a freak accident. This worked. Mm. It just, it literally like I stopped getting spam, uh, spam bots. I didn't have to download any tools or anything. It just stopped. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know if it's something in the code where it says, oh, they unchecked it. So we don't want to hit the site. Any I don't know. But that was interesting. Interesting. Um, and then the other thing that, of course, you want to tie into, like you do with the rest of your WordPress site, yeah. is Akismet. Yeah. Uh, you got to have an Akismet account set up for that, which is free. Um, that'll help control the spam posts, um, you know, right inside of the actual comments and thread topics and yeah. things like that. And there's actually a check mark in the BB Press settings yep. to just make sure it says, you know, integrate with Akismet yes. uh, spam protection. Um, and that is like a no brainer. Um, when you when you launch BB Press, um, you know another interesting plugin that I found, yeah. and there there are tons, and I, and I think we should go. I think as we, look, mm -hmm. full disclosure here, people. Yeah. This is our first foray into forums. Yeah, right. So we are going to um, we'll be exploring explore this it too. Yeah, along with you, especially if you're setting up your own mm -hmm. forum. Um, we're going to find what works and what doesn't. Yeah. Um, and uh, so those first two right off the bat, we need to stop the spam of people signing up and the mm -hmm. potential spam of people posting stuff. So yep. let's clear that right off the table. Uh, next one, new topic notification, which we'll have in the show notes. Um, this will just email the admins when a new topic yep. is created. Yep. So as soon as someone out there posts something in our forms, we want to know so we can go in yep. and kind of interact cool. with you. Um, Neat. So that's one that I, that I found. I think another good one, and I think you're going to talk about registering and kind of how you set that up with the code. We can talk about it a little bit, yeah. Uh, real quick. Um, but a plugin called Theme My Login, and, and we've talked about this on other membership plugins mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah. just in general setting up your WordPress site. Yeah. If you want to theme your login, which nine times out of ten is just replacing that logo that says WordPress. WordPress. with your, you know, your company logo or whatever. Your, yeah, maybe. exactly. Your company logo or your just site name, whatever. Um, that's a great plugin to kind of just mask that uh, mm -hmm that WordPress default image. And when people go to register, you'll have your logo there. Yep. So, in, okay, thank you. Uh, I guess the, the what you wanted me to talk about is sort of like sort of the process of setting up the registration for this because well, it is sort that of was confusing. Like the, the one weird thing, right? Because yes. when we set this up, it was like, okay, yep. you know, you would, you would assume that the registration link would just show up. They've had included that as part of the forum um, because when you create the forum, doesn't really create the, the forum, like a page, like a normal page. It creates its own section for a forum, right? right. And there's nowhere to register. It will just tell you on BB Press, uh, for that matter, um, uh, you know. You need an account. You need an account. This. And right. you say, okay. And then you <laughs> kind of sit there and stare at your computer for a few minutes, and then you <laughs> kind of leave. So you want to make sure it's very visible for somebody to register, um, because you would want to, I mean, you can set it with BB Press that anybody can comment, like public can comment on things. But if you want to control a little bit more so you don't have a lot of spam coming in there, you would want people to be logged in. So you want that to be visible to the, to, to the public, right? You want that to be easy to get to. Otherwise, it frustrates folks and then they're, you know, leave forever and you never see them again. Uh, so the way it works is you have to link um, to a very specific um, URL. Mm -hmm. What it basically is, is you put your website in, so HTTP, uh, colon, forward slash, forward slash, and then you put in your website name, um, you know, whatever it is, you know, mywebsite.com slash, and I'm sure we'll provide the notes down below or have it right here on the screen for you. Um, so dot com slash, then you want um, WP dash login dot PHP, question mark, action equals register. Whew. Dan is on a developer, yeah. So when he sees these things, he gets a little scared. And that's and that's the that's the URL that you need yeah. to, to to place um, to link to on their page so that people can easily see that they need to register. Yeah. Um, it's one of those things. It's just sort of again, it's all WordPress sort of implementation there and with BB Press and just. Yeah. When you so basically the the idea behind this is their thinking is well the registration page is already there for you. It's the WordPress login page. Mm -hmm. Yes. So their assumption is, well, you'll have a link somewhere on your site that says, please register for this site. Yeah. Um, you know, so they didn't really build in that register link or make it, you know, super easy to just activate. Yeah. And, and the clean URL you can also go to is wp-admin. A lot of folks will hide that too. Yeah. If it's, you know, if you're kind of like securing your site right. by obscurity, security by obscurity you might hide that. Um, so your links may vary depending on what you do with your site. But as soon as you turn on, um, anybody can register for my site in WordPress, mm -hmm. it'll add a register link in the login page. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the assumption. It's like, well, 
you're already logging in. You should already know where your login mm -hmm. page is. Therefore, you should direct your users to that yep. login mm -hmm. page because we'll have the register link there. Yep. Um, so, I mean, little quirky like that. So sometimes out of the box things, um, you know, you know, we're developers here, and when we just install something, we are like, you know, 101. It's like, okay, I'm just find the little, yep. hit the register link so yep. I can have, oh, it doesn't have one. Yep. Oh, we have to put those links in. Yep. So we just went into the theme and did mm -hmm. that. Uh, but for the person who doesn't know that, mm -hmm. there you go, right? There's something is. to be aware of. Here it is. <laughs> there, there, there's the answer. Um, also, just really quick, if you're doing recapture, it is a Google tool. Uh, you have to register your account, your Google email account with um Recapture to get some just API keys for the website Sweet. as is typical with other social media and other network based. Sweet. You'll have to do things. that with a Kismet too if you're integrating yep, into that's a, true as well. Thank uh, you. A Kismet. Yep. Uh, so sweet. That's the like the real that's BB Press for forums. Um, yeah. You know, let us know if you want us to talk about another forum because I've yeah. used another one out there that's actually really interesting. But these forums are so robust yep. that they're almost like a content management system in, in, yeah. in their own right. Mm -hmm. So BB Press is lightweight, integrates perfectly with WordPress. Mm -hmm. There are a couple others that integrate really, really well, and we can cover those if you'd like. Um, hop onto the forum, yes. uh, please, uh, and post your question there. Um, what else you want to know about BB Press? Mm -hmm. What else you want to know about WordPress? Let us know. Yeah. Subscribe, become a fan if you love the show. Uh, we really appreciate it. We get tons of feedback, and that's yeah. why we're launching a forum so that all that stuff can go directly yeah. in there, and there'll be a nice archive so that Hey, if you've already answered this question and somebody else asked this yeah. question, you can answer it right there. Yeah. If you're a WordPress expert yourself, eh, it might not be that bad to hop into our forums and you know find people who are asking these questions. Yeah. Um, studio.com slash subscribe, join the mailing list, slash forums, jump on the forums, slash blog, follow the blog. Uh, YouTube.com slash studio. That's where you're at already. Hit subscribe. We'd love it. 10,000 fans. There it is. Thanks, everybody. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah.